Hello there, this is Anushuja showing you how to use my rig. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Uh, so you will get this zip, unzip it, and then you will get an LIB 4D folder. And with this, you need to install it into your Cinema 4D. And all you have to do is put it in the content browser. So press, type in Cinema 4D, whatever version you have. So I have R13, and you should find this folder right here. Um, then go into library browser and just drag it in there um, and then it should be installed so restart your cinema 4d otherwise you won't have the folder uh, so then click on this icon right here <coughs> preset then you should find a locked folder with everything inside my rig and everything but since I'm the creator of the folder it should be unlocked for me so I have the rig template right here let's load it in plus you have the clothes the extras such as blood, uh, diamond stuff, gloves, everything, and the textures which are just nothing really, don't need it. Um, uh, no, don't delete it because otherwise you don't <laughs> have uh, half the features. Okay, for, uh, so I'm going to go to the main features, there's so much to this rig. Um, so yeah, main features first, so eyebrows. So that's a vector field which controls the eyebrows like so. Then you can always control them individually, such like so. And yeah, and then the teeth you can control each one individually also. With the dot jaws. And then scale one eye, other eye, move them both, scale both of them. Auto blink, which make is basically him blinking automatically can change the speed at which he blinks I normally set it at zero which is like every few I think like 15 times a minute which is the average and then uh, uh, blinking like so can even control them individually um, and then the mouth you can always change the type of mouth you like you want so yeah, I'll make him smile a little. And then make him sad, one sided sad, change the position. Yeah, and then, yeah, that's basically it. Um, other features, uh, rigid bends, I'll get into that later because you can even change the settings so that you don't have rigid bends. And plus, IKFK, if you like. Um, then it's laggy right now because we still need to customize it. Once we're done customizing, the lag will be at zero. <laughs> uh, not much lag. Um, if your textures are black, you need to go into the display and off the enhanced OpenGL and let it uh, reload so that the textures reload. Um, because some people have enhanced OpenGL problems. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah. So anyway, tools, all the tools, plus animated bow, uh, body armor, you can always change the textures of everything. If you just go over here, change the textures, no lag. Um, to have an auto update, you need your enhanced OpenGL on, otherwise you won't get the auto updates. Uh, yeah, the armor texture is like that. <laughs> yeah, I know it looks weird, but he looks like a girl that texture on uh, let me off them all um, okay so the eyes close sometimes when you need to reload some stuff but yeah you can fix it okay the next feature is the clothes and stuff okay first thing you can change the hue saturation and everything over here off the area of the head uh, whatever it comes in handy you can even add blood and stuff with this uh, depending on your texture if you can you can even edit your own texture and put it in here and then yeah uh, so now we're going to clothes you can add your own skin in here make sure to remove the eyebrows and the eyes if you don't want it um, because you can always add it in here it's kind of difficult to explain but anyway I'm gonna make a character real fast so all you have to do is click on this purple thing right here and go into user data 
and find the head shirt pants. So I'm gonna put this guy. Actually, let's make him wear a suit. <laughs> okay, so we got him like businessman. Um, so okay, the next main features are the, is the physical features. Um, so the first one is IKFK. Say you don't want IK, you just click on this. So the legs IKFK, arms IKFK. What it is is you can select the bone, move it like that. The only problem with this is it doesn't have the C motion because C motion it takes a while to make. What C motion is? It's a walk cycle and stuff. So I'll show that later. Actually, I'll show it right now. So the C motions walk. It's slow because I have to f still delete the stuff. I I'll show you later actually. Um, so okay, sharp bends, normal bends, can move that so now it's less laggy if you want sharp bends and normal bends so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it uh, I mean to sharp bends and the fingers say you want the normal fingers the default it's always there and then you can change it to this one these ones are basically um, you can it has a pause on it uh, then you can always animate something like that and him opening the fingers and stuff. And then the other fingers is my own creation, which took a while to make. So it's basically what I do is I while anim while when he's in his default form, it's like this, and when I'm animating him holding something such as a sword and him using the fingers, I would go into this mode and it looks like he actually opened his hands so it doesn't look too bad. Then I select this, uh, these loops, which basically controls the fingers. So this one moves it out, and this one like stretches it out and inwards. Um, so I can basically do anything with this. So say I want him, oop, wrong one. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. And then the middle one controls all of them. So if I select the middle one. If I rotate it 45 degrees and then rotate this one 45 degrees, then it does like a 95 degree thing. Uh, whatever. Um, anyway, you got the pick. You can always mess with it. Um, so I'm going to put it back into default because that's what I like. Uh, eyes. This took a while to make. <laughs> um, so you can change the position. If you want the default eyes, you can always make it like that. Then you can even add different types of eyes which have controllers and then the huge eyes which <laughs> which I used to use but uh, don't worry you can always change the size of the pupil and the position of the eyebrows like so uh, and then you can so I'm just gonna move this like maybe there is a good place and then make his eyebrows a little bushy you can even off it like and then make it move it down a little because uh, afterwards you can un okay the tire I'm gonna off this for now because otherwise you can't see the nose you can change the type of nose <laughs> yeah that's really weird I know but I normally use this nose oh this one I like it and then there's the mouth this is the old mouth that I used to use. Um, let me just show it. So it moves basically like that. I normally I use it in this area here when he's talking, not all the way here. I never use it like that, but yeah, you get the picture. So I'm gonna put my previous mouth, and then there's always the nothing, which is the default. Uh, the cool thing about this one is you can even add any skin and just leave it at default by just customizing. Uh, then you have a perfectly fine rig. Uh, teeth. Oh, you can off the teeth. Have this type of teeth and then these really old person teeth. Let me open his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, beware about the nose. Yeah. But yeah, uh, change it back. Actually, I'm gonna leave it with these teeth. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna on the out head again. Change. You can always change the pupil color. So black. You can change the eyebrow color. Um, then eye color. So if your if your character is really stressed, you can change it to a lead red. Um, okay. Uh, that's about it, I think, for that. Okay, so time to once we're done customizing, like we're done right now. Um, oh yeah, one thing. If you have FK, there's a separate visual selector for the FK. So if I select this, uh, actually, let me show you without FK for now. So this is the visual visual selector. Visual selector. So double click it. And um, so you, yeah, you just select it like so. That's the uh, facial features. That's the arm. Oh, by the way, the poles are parented to the goals. So if you rotate it, it rotates the arm like so. Same for the legs. And then this all, this is the pole. And yeah. So FK. What you want to do is. So if you change the arms to FK, you want to go into this tag, um, set up, edit, and then you want to edit these four things if you are using arms. And if you know Cinema 4D, you will know how to do this. So watch my tutorial on something. Um, so I'm going to use IK. Because, yeah, I like IK. Then you can always delete that if you like. Uh, now we need to we need to optimize our character so we have less lag so go into your layers and there should be this layer called lock body what this does is it um, locks the body if you like you can even off the body uh, keep it in a low f mode or something so what I like to do is lock it so that I now I can select the body and then unlock I mean lock it so you can't select the body and then lock it unlock it so you can select back so unlock it now because we need to delete some things and by the way um, going, if you go into extras in the folder you can always add blood like so to the skin and like so like so if you have sharp bends it's kind of weird and you can always add straps gloves uh, wristbands, quilt, oh, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna add some more things to it. Uh, what was I gonna do now? Oh, yeah, optimize. So go in the controls, and if you don't want your clothes anymore, you can always delete it because it's extra, ex extra espresso. But I suggest to leave it because sometimes it messes up the espresso. Espresso. So this is the armor. I suggest leaving it. Use um, sorry if you use rigid bands like so. Um, if you're not using rigid bands, sorry. So look, if I select the goal and it's moving like that. You need to delete these two things, which is the bool. Anything that's red and crossed, you need to delete, unless it's armor, which says a dot something. So you can always. Um, I'm gonna for lag reasons. I'm gonna use not a rigid bends, not um, normal bends, so I'm just going to delete the, the bulls and everything. You need to know a little bit about Cinema 4D, I guess. Um, so delete that. Uh, okay, now the other parts, so anything crossed out and whatever, delete other red dotted what I mean crossed out and red dot like these two red dots and stuff you need to delete them but don't delete any armors because it might mess up some things in the armor section <coughs> okay delete okay so we have done with optimizing 
and if you have rigid bends you want to delete all of this uh sorry all of these because not that uh, but these ones because they will turn red um, okay now we're done so you click the lock again under the layers and no lag yay and all the features still work um, and we have a new character which is a professional perfectly fine rig plus with all these walk cycles so I'm gonna lower my frame rate a little Ooh, that's not lowering it. <laughs> so 200 so I can have some space to work with the camera in Oops. then here and hit play still slow because I'm recording great we're at 12 okay that's the walk cycle the run cycle you can always change it if you like the jog cycle Lol, uh, the run up cycle. So this is when he's jumping up uh, a, a, um, a block at a time. So if I, like a block meaning a hundred, a normal block which is like this and then like that. So he's jumping up basically. You need to position him correctly. And then you can always have background characters with these C motions and stuff. So walking downstairs. This is also used as a reference to, to, on how to animate him doing stuff because it's kind of difficult because he has short arms and stuff. So plus the blocks are kind of big, so it kind of looks weird sometimes. But if you know how to animate correctly, you can make it look like he's. It's okay, like in bootstraps animations. Um, plus he avoids some things. Uh, but I warn you, it is you cannot move it while it's in C motion. So you need to keyframe using a baking thing. Watch my tutorial on it. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. So thank you for watching. Make sure to download it. Uh, if you think it's a reasonable price, please tell me because it contains all my um, all my knowledge about rigging. So, <laughs> it's people say the actual pri price would be about a hundred your uh, dollars because yeah for for good reasons uh yeah that's about it uh links in the description and bye.